Hello everybody, hope you're all doing great out there. Today I'm gonna to go through one of my favorite techniques to use in a lot of styles, which is hybrid picking. Uh, if you don't know what hybrid picking is, it's a way of sounding notes on the guitar where you use um, a pick, which I don't have in my hand right now, between your uh, index and thumb like normal, and then you also use your other three fingers to open up options for just different ways to sound the notes. Uh, you can also add some extra wide intervals to your playing like this and change the timbre of notes if you don't just want to go with the straight picked attack. So a lot of different options you can get out of this technique. Let's check it out. So I'll go through a few different contexts where I typically like to use a hybrid picking approach in my own playing, and we'll see how that differs from taking a standard alternate or economy picking approach. So to get started, let's look at this line where we're doing some string skipping. Uh, hybrid picking is definitely useful for that kind of context. So here's the line play with just an alternate picking approach. Notice uh, how my wrist moves when I do this in my hand in general. <laughs> One more time, just a little bit slower. I have to do a lot of movement right there with my wrist, especially when I change, uh, change strings or skip strings. There's a lot of unnecessary motion that we can eliminate with using our other three fingers. So let's take a look at that same line played with the hybrid picking approach. Works really well when I'm doing that first string skip from F sharp to D. I can just use my middle finger instead of having to go down, up, and then skip a string right there. I can just use my finger. It's uh, same kind of a principle on the descending runs. So one more time, hybrid picked. really works super well when I wanna skip strings like that. I can eliminate a lot of motion my right hand has to do and just make it a more smooth and controlled motion throughout. Not to say you have to do that when you skip strings because the, the attack of the pick does sound different, but it's always an option in a string skipping context like that. So kind of extending that last string skipping context, we can use hybrid picking more generally to just add more options for wide intervals into our playing. It really comes in handy for like solos or melodies or lead lines or really anything like that where you, you want a different contour than you might be used to with just alternate picking. So let's take a look at this example line with some close intervals and see how we can change the feel and contour of it by swapping some of them for larger intervals with a hybrid picking approach. So here's the line just picked slowly. One more time, a little sped up. Okay, so you might notice there that the widest interval is in the line is a perfect fourth between the second and third note, F sharp and B. So as a first pass at this concept, let's try to swap that B for its octave neighbor uh, on the B string. Uh, funny that they're both named B. So yeah, we'll go through the line again using that note instead. I'm gonna use my middle finger to reach it and we'll see how the contour changes. The line feels a good bit different just because we made that extra jump and added that wide interval into it, even though the note is technically the same. So let's take that one step further and see how it changes even more when we change a few other notes for their octave neighbors and widen it up a little bit. So let's go through all three versions here together so we can see how far we've come. Now we use the one octave swap. Okay, now the full thing. So each version is a good bit different. Although all we did was take the original line and just swap some wide intervals using our hybrid picking approach. If you ever want to shake up a line like that or a solo you're playing, it's a good option to consider where you might take it and what kind of contour you can get. Just keep it in your bag of tricks, you know? So it's uh, handy to pull out every once in a while. So far, we've discussed hybrid picking in the context of lead and melody playing, but that's not really the only place where it's useful. It's also extremely helpful when playing chords or rhythm guitar or comping for the voicing options that it opens up to you. When we strum, like in this example, C major seven voicing, 
when I strum that chord, thankfully all four of the notes are grouped together, right? Because it's just on those four consecutive strings and I can just strum it up or down. But if I want to play a voicing where I skip a string or two, I can either risk making noise when strumming them or I can use a hybrid picking approach. Hybrid picking is much preferable here. So let's take a look at this second C major seven voicing and play it with a hybrid picked approach. So we've got third in the bass, fifth here, G, root of C, and then my seventh on the high E. Nice and uh, plucky there, <laughs> so yeah. If we were to try to strum that, we'd have to worry about these uh, strings we're not using, the B and A strings. If I try to strum it, it just doesn't work as well because I have to finagle around that extra noise. Instead, I just use my fingers and the pick and it's all good. We don't have to worry about it at all. Another way we can play that same chord uh, is dropping the seventh to the open B string. Again, we don't have to worry about the noise from the skipped A string. Let's try the same thing with a minor chord just to demonstrate some other options. So we'll take a similar four string voicing for like B minor seven here. I can strum that, all the notes are sequential, or are sequentially mapped to the strings, but let's take a look at this voicing where they aren't. I really like that voicing. It's a little more airy, kind of adds some, some extra space to that same minor seven chord. But again, we're skipping two strings. We're skipping the A string and the B string. If we strum it, we get that extra noise. But here, this way, nice and clean, nice and open, no extra noise, just the, the pitches we want to hear and a really cool voicing. So let's take a look at one more where we just skip the B string. It's another nice airy voicing where I've got my seventh in the bass, fifth here, the third here, and then the root on top. We're skipping the B string there, and because we're familiar with hybrid picking, we don't have to worry about that extra noise. We know we can just use the pick and these three fingers to hit up to four pitches at the same time. So we skip all the strings we want, just get the, to uh, the tones that we like, and no extra noise. It's a very, very nice approach. All right, that's about it for today's lesson on hybrid picking. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you learned a little bit. Maybe you found out some new ways you can use hybrid picking in your own playing and compositions, or maybe there's something I didn't cover here. You know, if there's a way that you use this that I did not mention, let me know in a comment. I'd love to explore that and maybe see how I can use it. And if you have any questions about something I went over in this video, please reach out and let me know. I'd love to talk about it and clear up any confusion or uh, just help you along the way. All right, everybody, thank you again for checking this out. Peace.